what's happening boxing what's happening youtube amp about that boxing man we are in the building be sure to like subscribe hit the notifications and share the content man let's go in i'm gonna be talking about devin haney and i'm gonna be talking about the fact that he is now a champion in recess as he announces he's gonna take a hiatus and i'm so glad that mauricio Suleiman and the wbc are back in devin haney being that he was in a really really shitty situation in the ring and mauricio Suleiman actually acknowledged the fact that you know what happened to him was like a travesty you know what i'm saying in boxing so you know he could spend some of that bread like he said spend some time with his family get his head back right i don't like the fact that he's saying he's trying to wait on ryan to come back um as far as i'm concerned I don't care if I ever see Ryan Garcia in the ring again. I really don't. I don't care. You know. We know all the drama that's been going on, though. Since Devin Haney has not been in the ring, he has definitely been on his ex account. You know what I'm saying? And talking about he forgot how fun this ish was. You know, so he took shots at Gary Antoine Russell. We know that. And we know that Mr. Gary Russell Jr. clapped back at him. Charlie, you should have kept your motherfucking mouth closed. You got your ass beat. We know that. We know that Bob Arum had won the purse bid for the Sandor Martin Devin Haney fight at $1.2 million purse. Being that Devin already said that he was going to take some time off, we knew this fight probably wasn't going to happen. So now we got Sandor Martin facing Puelo. Puelo, who just beat Gar. Gary Antoine Russell. So this should be a very good fight. And I am so excited and glad to see that Sandor Martin will finally get an opportunity to prove if he's championship worthy. Because to me, he already was in that fight against Teofimo Lopez that I felt that Sandor Martin edged him out and won that fight, especially with dropping Teo in that fight as well. So, you know, it is what it is and we are where we are. But now Sandor Martin finally gets his opportunity with Puelo. Puelo is not nobody to sleep on, though. As we saw with Gary Antoine Russell, he pretty much shut Gary Antoine Russell down. So this is going to be a fight to look forward to seeing on ESPN. Um, Devin Haney, take your time, man. Spend your money. Spend some time with your family. When you come back, don't worry about no Ryan Garcia. When you come back, man, get back into the fight game, okay? I know this is the only guy you lost to, but if he cheated, then it's not really a loss. He's a cheater. That's different. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. He wants to avenge it on an even playing field, but how can you trust somebody like that? You know what I'm saying? How can you trust somebody that's a cheater to come in on an even playing field. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to have, have to have somebody test this dude every day and have the test return in, in, in a couple couple hours, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. You're going to have to pay some bread or something to keep this dude under monitor. So I wouldn't even trust him at this point. You know, like I said, I could care less if I ever see him in the ring again. On social media, cool shit. You do your thing, Ryan, on that social media. You know what I'm saying? Entertaining dude, but... I don't want him in boxing. Not if that's what he does and he considers that cool and he's still trying to stand on on a lie and everything else after everybody done caught him. He's just so busy trying to stand on a lie, man. I can't deal with people like that. Anyway, let's keep it moving. So we got Sandor Martin and Puelo going to fight for Devin Haney's vacated belt while he's a champion in recess. That's what we got, man. That's where we at. And that's where I'm going to end this. I'm not going to keep talking about either one of these guys' legal uh, situations. I don't care about the lawyers and, and what's happening behind the scenes. I don't care. All I care about is what's directly affecting the ring. Okay? Trash talking, yeah, cool. I'll talk about that too. But I'm not going to talk about, oh, well, so-and-so is going to sue so-and-so. And now so-and-so is going to sue so-and-so. Man, I'm not here for that, man. That's that, that's a different channel. That's like the Law & Order channel or some shit. Anyway, man, that's all I got for this one, man. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notifications. Um, I'm telling y'all I want to do lives, but I'm not going to do it with only 340 subscribers, man. I'm just not going to do lives like that because you're only going to get about, you know, 5% other people gonna show up 10% of the people tops gonna show up I'm not gonna sit here and do a live for only 30 20 30 people 
I, I really appreciate all the people that have been subscribing and staying with me and rocking with me, man. But I need more people before I'm gonna dedicate my time for my other businesses to, to do lives, all right? Anyway, man, I love all y'all, man. Enjoy y'all day. T.O.'s fighting at night, so it's on and popping. I believe it's tonight. I hope it's tonight. Um. Anyway, man, that's all I got for this one, man. I'll be back with another one. Amp, bout that boxing.